I was put to work for 18 hours a day. I was given a meal a day, a bowl of rancid soup. At night I went to bed, I never knew if I would, would be alive. The following morning I woke up, I said I would make it to freedom. And he did. Sishan Siv is one of 14 survivors of genocide who are in the hub city tonight. Good evening and thanks so much for choosing KLBK News. I'm Terry Furman. Tonight, the Museum of Texas Tech opened their exhibit, Narratives of Genocide. Our Emily Harrison was there for the opening and had the chance to speak to some of those survivors. Emily, I'm sure it had to be a very emotional night. Terry, as soon as you walk into that room, you see the stories written on the walls of people who have experienced things that are unimaginable. And when I had the privilege of speaking to some of them, they just wanted me to share that genocide isn't a thing of the past. They are the living proof and they want the world to recognize them. Some have physical scars. I spent eight hours in a burning building, waiting my friends uh, and watching my friends dying and I was waiting for my turn. Others, invisible ones that are just as painful. My whole family was all killed. My mother, my sister, my brother, their children, 15 of them, were all killed by the Khmer Rouge. But all of them are survivors, escaping genocide and sharing their stories. Told by the U.S. Embassy if I wanted to be airlifted by the embassy to be at the embassy within one hour. When I finished, I came to the embassy. I was told that the last helicopter had taken off 30 minutes before. When we were marching to the Holocaust, to the genocide at the house, they were gonna burn everybody alive. The rope came loose, but I couldn't go. If I go, I'll be killed by machetes. Gilbert was almost burned alive during the Tutsi Hutu War of Burundi. Sichan was captured and spent a year forced into hard labor in Cambodia. Both of them want you to know that they, along with thousands of others, are the faces of genocide. We say never again, you know, when the Jews were killed by the Nazi. But then you have the Khmer Rouge killing the Cambodians. Then you have Rwanda, you have uh, the Balkans. You, 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 the, the thing keep on repeating. Look around. Every day you open the media, there is someone, uh, there is a uh, genocide happening. It's the proof. We're living proof. I escaped one of the worst massacre nobody knows. These things still happening around. Now the exhibit will be open to the public until February of 2020 at the Museum of Texas Tech University.